What is up boys and welcome back to some more VGC 2020. So this is the team that I was planning on uh, using for the IC, but I ended up for, uh, forgetting about signing up because I was having a lot of internet problems. It's a lightning rod Rhyperior team. I had Hitmontop instead of Dragapult, so when I was using this team on stream, it was not doing too good. If you're going to run Rhyperior, it's just better to run Solid Rock. But so I got rid of uh, um, him on top, and now I brought back. This is an old Dragapult. This is a Dragapult I used, like I think in the beginning of VGC 2020. Uh, the Roselli Berry. It's uh, the berry that reduces Fairy type damage, and it's a Dragon Dance Dragapult. So we got rid of him on top, and I brought Dragapult in. So we're just gonna see how this team does now. Well, like on stream, so many times when people kept le leading off with Tyranitar, and I would lead off with Bravery. And I would be thinking, okay, do they leave Tyranitar in? Do they protect or switch it out? And they would usually switch it out, right? They don't want to take the close combat from Bravery. Well, I've been running into people who now they leave Tyranitar in. I even ran into one person who they left Tyranitar in. Oh, here we go, Tyranitar extra. They left Tyranitar in, and I was going to uh, close combat it. But they're running a fast Tyranitar because I have no speed investment in this Bravery. So they most likely had a Jolly Max VT Tar. They outsped, go for Rock Slide, and the flinched my uh, bravery <laughs> when I was trying to smack it with a close combat but here we go T-Tar Excadrill that that's a major problem Dragapult really doesn't touch these two especially because they can just Dynamax Excadrill um, again bravery bravery would be a solid choice because again I can close combat the T-Tar if they leave it in or I can just go in DD does cost both the problem the problem with that is all they have to do is get a, um, so we go Lapras and Rhyperior in the back so we can bait that Rotom. Because you know he's going to bring Rotom. He's going to bring Tyranitar, Excadrill, Rotom, and maybe Togekiss. Those are the four I'm looking at. But yeah, if I go if I go Ndidi Dust Cops, which I've already done off stream. I've done Ndidi Dust Cops whenever people lead off Tyranitar, Excadrill. And it just ends up the same way. They just spam Rock Slide and I just flinch. So there's nothing I can do right there. So, at least Bravery, I kind of... There it is, Tyranitar and Serena. So, we do scare off the Tyranitar here. But, again, the, <laughs> I've, I've run into people who protect or switch out Tyranitar, because obviously they're scared of a close combat, and I've run into people who just really don't care. They literally just don't care, but very interesting lead for him to go with, uh, with Serena and uh, Tyranitar. Helping hand Rock Slide? That means Excadrill is probably in the back. Well, I'm, 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 okay, okay. I'm going to go based off that he's going to protect or switch out that Tyranitar. We're just going to follow me just in case he does Dynamax it, but we're going to follow me and Tailwind. It, it, it could go either way. I've, I've, I've run it in, uh, okay, he's Dynamaxing. Okay, perfect. That's got to be Tyranitar. There's no way he's doing the uh, Serena. Unless he's doing Serena for Max Airstream. I just thought about that. Nope, Tyranitar, yeah. Okay, perfect. So, uh, I guess this guy just really puts a lot of faith in Tyranitar. I, ha I haven't even been able to hit a Dynamax Tyranitar with a close combat from Bravery because people either switch out, protect, stuff like that. But, yeah, he's going to do that, whatever. Darkness. Okay, so now we can Max Knuckle. Now we can actually Max Knuckle him. Perfect. He's going to give us a Defiant Boost. Okay, so this worked out better than I thought. This guy actually gave us a Defiant Boost. Um, that puts us at... Plus two. Because when I, I've gone for Max Knuckle with Bravery on a D-Max Tyranitar. And I've been able to do, I think, like, a, depending on their spread, I've done, like, around half. So, <laughs> this should KO. We haven't been intimidated. We're plus two. Max Knuckle will 100% KO this guy. But now, does he protect it? That's kind of what we're looking at right now. I want to bring out Lapras for sure. I want to bring out Lapras and... He might protect, but I just can't let... I just can't risk it. Protect Lapras. I can't risk it. Like, if I imagine I go from Max Airstream to Serena and he just doesn't even protect Tyranitar and he just goes from Max Rockball. 
He will probably protect, but I, I don't know. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of trying to make these reads on Tyranitar, man. I'm literally just tired of trying to make these reads on Tyranitar. I mean, the dude left Tyranitar in and he went for a max darkness. Does he not know about Defiant Bravery? So, yeah, I'm just going to max knuckle the, the Tyranitar. I mean, it's, there's not much else he can do anyway. He can max guard, but then the following turn we're just gonna hit you again with the with the max with the max knuckle. But I kind of need Lapras for his uh, Rotom because I'm pretty sure he has Rotom in the back. 100% he's got Rotom in the back. Excadrill could also be a problem because his Excadrill still has speed bravery too if he has it in the back. Okay, unless my Lapras is faster. I think my Lapras... Oh, yeah, we're, we're faster to him, yeah. Yep. God damn it, dude. I'm so tired of these Tyranitars. Like, but why? What does it matter? High jump kick. Okay, he's trying to... Okay, I kind of attacked his, uh, his Serena, actually. What does it matter, bro? You're still going to get knocked out. Jesus Christ, man. I'm tired of these, <laughs> these Tyranitar mind games, man. All right, screw it. We're just gonna go um, freeze dry into the Serena. Screw it. See, you, uh, whatever. Let's move on. Let's move on. You're trying to. You're still gonna let Tyranitar to go down. Was it just? Was he just trying to get some chip damage off with the high jump kick? I could have gotten ja damage off on this arena. I thought he was going to attack uh, Lapras right there. Yeah, we would have knocked you out right there. Perfect. And he missed. Oh, he went for a high jump kick into Lapras. Good, I'll take it. I'll take it. Ah, oh, dude, I'm so tired of these Tyranitar mind games, bro. There's what, see? That's why I needed, um, that is why I needed, um, freaking, uh, Lapras, but yeah, we're just gonna max Knuckle, I mean, max Airstream to Togekiss, we're gonna knock you out, we're like plus four, and we just switch out into Rhyperior, but that's the reason why I needed Lapras for his, uh, Rotom, but now that we have, but now that we have a boosted Bravery, we just don't even need, <laughs> we don't even need Lapras anymore. But we're gonna bait him into going for Thunderbolt right here. He can go for Follow Me, Nasty Pop, but it really doesn't matter. We knock out Togekiss here. He's gonna protect. Double protect? No, you're dead. Maybe going for a Yawn? Well, now he can't even touch uh, Bravery anyway, so. If he goes for Hydro Pump, he, ha he has to connect the Hydro Pump. Now this is a what? Plus... Plus... Wait, we got a plus two attack boost, right? We're at plus five. Plus three, wait, why did I say plus five? Oh, the... the <laughs> why did I say plus five? The Defiant plus the Max Knuckle, because his Tyranitar are protected. Yeah, we just rock... We just close combat and... Rock Slam, he's dead anyway. Yeah, but I think it was a good thing I didn't uh, have to... Because I was, I was having, like, internet problems, so I ended up forgetting about the sign-ups for the, the IC. But I think it was a good thing, because this team... This team hasn't done very well on the ladder. I'm struggling just to... I'm struggling against, like, anybody. Like, someone can have a 14,000 rating, and I'm, I'm struggling against a 14,000 rated opponent. So, the team isn't doing very good. So, it, and I see you're going to be running to the exact same teams that are right here on the ladder. Like this one, the, that, that team I just went up against, Tyranitar, Excadrill, Rotom, um, Togekiss, like, you're, you're gonna run into all of those, all those teams, but here we go, this guy's running the Durant, Gothitelle, Snorlax, Whimsicott, Lapras, okay, so he, he's got Whimsicott and Lapras, he can, he can, he can combine those two, he can literally combine those two.
And then he has Gothitelle and Snorlax, and then he's got Durant. And he picked his stuff really quick. Snorlax, Snorlax will be a problem. Snorlax will be a problem. I, I could go Bravery and Didi, and we can Mystical Fire the Durant. And then have Dusclops and Rhyperior in the back. In case I gotta get Trick Room up. I don't know. He, he, he has like... He's, he can go Whimsicott. He's got Whimsicott and Lapras. He's got Goth to Snorlax, and then he also has a Durant sitting there, so I don't even know what he's gonna lead off with. Usually people can just lead off with the Durant and Gothito, and he might just do that. Nope, he's going Lapras and Snorlax. So we're just gonna max knuckle the Snorlax and follow me. That's probably Whimsicott. Got the toe, okay. <clears throat> Could've gone Mystical. I could've gone Mystical Fire into Lapras, but again, uh, that, uh, the, the G-Max move into Bravier would still probably hurt. Parasong, 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 Parasong. Era song Lapras. Watch. He didn't dynamax. When do you never see a Lapras G-Max? No. He just went for freeze dry. Okay. He's probably saving it for Snorlax then. He's probably just saving it for Snorlax. Yeah, we're gonna max Airstream the Gothitelle. And we're gonna Mystical Fire the Lapras now. I don't know why he wouldn't just Dynamax right there, but if he's not gonna G-Max the Lapras, we'll just go for Mystical Fire. He might even protect Lapras right here. Plus one, max Airstream. I'm really hoping that KOs though. I can't let him get Trick Room up. He's got a Snorlax, he's got a Lapras. That's scary. And if he didn't G-Max the Lapras, then... Uh, okay, yeah, he's saving it. He's saving it for uh, Snorlax. Alright. Gothitelle is down! No Trick Room. There's nothing. Okay, so I do want to switch out. Um, I want to switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snorlax is going to come in. Okay, okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch out. It's pretty risky, but I'm switching out Indeedee into Rhyperior. We're going to get a plus one speed boost. I think that should be enough. To give right to for Rhyperia to outspeed Lapras. I think so. I hope so. Plus, we're still gonna do a chunk of damage to the Snorlax right now, unless he Dynamaxes. Because I think he, I think he wants to get his Belly Drum up first, but you're not gonna be able to get Belly Drum up because we're just gonna smack you right now. Okay, I don't know what my opponent's doing. I don't, I, I don't know if he just. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know what he's doing. He didn't he didn't G-Max the Lapras. He's trying if he's trying to get Belly Jump up with Snorlax. Yeah, here we go. He's at minus one. We're not solid rock, but yeah, look at that. Look at how much damage that does. You need solid rock right here, bro. A hundred percent you need solid rock right here. It's curse snacks. Cur <laughs> curse lax. There we go. I saw a lot of people running this. I saw a lot of people running 
Curse Slacks, like James Beck and all that. And this leftovers. Okay, so he's gonna Dynamax, but again, bro, uh, close combat. Is, close combat's just gonna kind of destroy your life. And we got weakness policy up on Rhyperior. Um, I feel like Rhyper Rhyperior should be able to KO, man. I don't see why not. Rayford? Uh, no, actually, you know what? yeah, we gotta go for close combat. I have to go for close combat. We're neutral now because he got the curse up. Maybe I should have just, uh, I should have probably gone for a max knuckle. Oh, okay. He's going Lapras. Now he's going to G-Max the Lapras. He probably sees that there's no point that his, uh, his Snorlax is going to go down. Okay, now this is a single targeted... Plus two rock slide. That's if we outspeed this uh um Lapras. We do. Goodbye. What? The bulk! The bulk! We can pause it. The bulk is insane on Lapras! That's a plus two rock slide! Who are you going for though? It's alright. We already got rid of Snorlax, we got rid of his uh Gothitelle. Lapras is already... Lapras is dead. Lapras is literally dead. Um, we bring out Ndidi. And, uh... Yeah, we bring out Ndidi. La your Lapras is dead, my guy. Your Lapras is dead. And so oh! Crap. Okay, even better. Even better. We're gonna get another Defiant boost. We're fine. We're fine. So we know that that Lapras doesn't have like that much special attack investment. They're just relying on the power of the uh, that he's gonna fake out Bravery, but it's fine. We can just uh, follow me anyway. Yeah, because I don't have protect on this Bravery, but just in case, um, we can smack his Incineroar with a close combat. Follow me. We're good. We're, we still won. And then we have Dusclops in the back. Dusclops still takes um, whatever this Lapras wants to do. So I can just go close combat. On the Incineroar anyway, and then just Nightshade. Nightshade's gonna kill the Lapras anyway, so we're good. It was, it was kind of, it was interesting because I guess, it, I guess he did not want to. Die. He didn't want to G-Max his Lapras, obviously, because he didn't do it. He was saving it for his Snorlax. He really wanted to. I guess he wanted to get a couple of uh, curses up, and then, and then G-Max and Snorlax. But yeah, um, I mean, nobody runs Protect on Incineroar, so we're just going to close combat the Incineroar, and we're going to Nightshade the Lapras. He could Protect Lapras right here and sh go for like a Flare Blitz into Bravery, hoping to KO it, and then it will just be Lapras and Incineroar versus my... Dustclops, so what are you gonna do, buddy? Yep. Gotcha. That's game, buddy. Maybe I should make a team with that Curse Slacks. Leftovers, a uh, Curse, and Snorlax, bro. That's game anyway. Even if somehow he, even if somehow he was able to KO my Bravery or something, like it doesn't matter. If, now without his G Max, definitely Lapras won't be able to one shot Dust Clops. <laughs> Dustclops is just too, too bulky with that Eevee light. But yeah, it really, it really looks like he was, um, like he really wanted, he wanted to G-Max his Snorlax because he did not touch the Lapras. But he ended up G-Maxing the Lapras there anyway because he saw that his Snorlax was just going to end up getting killed anyway. Too bad I didn't get a chance to, sh to, to show Dragapult though. That kind of sucks. I wanted to show off Dragapult. 
But anyway, boys, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys again next.